This is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel Studios, The Infinity Saga, Iron Man, Mark III from the movie, Iron Man. We got Tony Stark in his Mark III armor. Oh my goodness, fantastic box art. You get to see that movie poster. Wow, very, very nice artwork on the side, The Infinity Saga. I picked up this figure at my local Toys R Us store. Uh, the Toys R Us Galleria, Robinson Galleria store. That is the biggest Toys R Us here in Manila for a whopping $34. Oh my goodness. Hasbro not playing. I mean, with their price increases, they are really serious about these inflationary prices, price increases. It kind of sucks, but I'm a big fan of Iron Man. Iron Man, the first movie. I love that movie. I had to pick this one up. Let's get this figure out of packaging. And here is the Mark III out of packaging. And oh my goodness. I just need a minute to take all of this in because this figure is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I did not expect this figure to be this good. I didn't think Hasbro could have topped the Mark VII figure, the one they released for the first 10 years, but I was wrong. This figure is just so much more amazing than that figure. I mean, that figure was great. The Mark VII, I love that figure, but I had very little hopes, very little expectations for this figure beating that figure. And the fact that I, upon opening it up, putting him in several poses, this figure blew me away. I absolutely love what Hasbro has done with this figure. I'm sorry, I, just, I cannot stop gushing over this figure. He has a few very minor issues, but it does not detract from the awesomeness of this Marvel Legends figure. And this figure has come a long way from the from those very first Iron Man figures that Hasbro released, those very thin, skinny Iron Man figures. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I sold all of those away, sold them off. And oh my God, this, this figure is, is just a perfect example. It epitomizes what the Marvel Legends line, uh, how far the Marvel Legends line has come. And I'm just so pleased with it. I <laughs> I can't stop commenting on this, complimenting this figure. It, it's just so amazing. Okay, uh, I have the masked head on. This is the alternate head. This is what, where he, the head he has on when he's packaged. And it is a very, very nice likeness of Tony Stark. It's just a shame that we just see get his face. It would really be nice if we could really get a full blown head sculpt of Tony Stark. That's not, that's just really this accurate and not bloodied like the one in the two pack. And we did get one for the first 10 years, but I, I don't know, something about it just lacks a little bit of accuracy. This one is, wow, look at the new face painting technology they put on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Looking at the details of the figure, you will immediately see this really nice candy red, glossy, flake metallic type of finish on the plastic. Some parts are painted, but the original plastic they molded that red in, wow, it is just gorgeous. It is the same kind of plastic they use for the modular armor Iron Man. I'll show off all the Iron Man figures later in a comparison, but they kept it simple. Lovely, just a lovely, nice candy metallic flake red plastic painted in gold and this time around they got the gold right first time they tried to do this there's a ton of quality issues with the gold paint smearing here and there but i guess practice makes perfect wow look how much this gold paint pops or makes the figure pop the re arc reactor look at that nicely painted and if you just pose him on the shelf you'd think from afar that that chest is glowing. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Okay, uh, in terms of, let's talk about articulation. Um, the head is on a ball joint up here and a ball joint down here. It took a little bit of effort trying to replace this head uh, with the one that was slapped on when you put him in, when you open him up in packaging, but it is doable. The 
upper torso is on a ball joint. The shoulders can go in and out and forward and backward. And the shoulder pads are actually on a ring and you can actually move it alongside the shoulders on your arms when you rotate them. But my issue, this is a very small issue. My issue with these shoulders is the same issue I had with Anakin, uh, Anakin Skywalker, that when when you move the arms, it, it, it takes time for the shoulder piece to actually go with the arm. So you'll need to grab all of the, of the shoulder armor and just move it alongside uh, the arm. It's a small, small complaint. I'm not, it's not even a complaint. It's just something I noticed. Maybe something they need to work on in, in future releases. But as it is, it does its job. And it doesn't flare too much off or upward when you move the arms in and out kind of stays where it is, comes back and springs back to where it was. That's pretty cool. Uh, the elbows are bicep swivel. There's a double jointed hinge elbow. That's pretty cool. Uh, when you stretch out the arm though, you kind of see the pin. It's like somebody had poked a bar through his elbow. And I doubt an arm, an actual arm can actually fit right there if you actually po poke that bar in. But that's what it looks like. I'm sure that's not the case. They did that for space so that you could move the arm this way. A very minor, minor issue. They could have covered that up, but not, not sure how they would have done that. The wrists, this one, the punching arms, he comes with two fists that have the hinge and the swivel. However, the repulsor blast arm they've kept the tradition from the 80 years iron man of not putting a hinge it's just a swivel kind of sucks because i don't know uh it would be nice to have a little bit of swivel and have the arms the open hand fold down but i don't know for for some reason the designers of hasbro feel that the open hands are only going to be used for repulsors it's a valid point but you know more articulation is better than less so <laughs> Again, very, very minor issue on that, okay? The hips are on a drop-down ball joint, and I am so glad they are adapting the G.I. Joe Classified Series hips that hinge up and down like that, and you can go move them in and out. So that's, that's a nice improvement from what we normally get. So they'll allow you to get him in more dynamic poses. I just hope that in the future these things don't loosen or break off so we'll have to wait and see thighs are on a swivel joint got this incredible double jointed knee wow look at that that's a big knee joint okay and then the ankles the ankles can go forward backward or up and down they have the rocker tilt as well as a swivel so triple jointed ankle very very nice and i was totally expecting this figure to be like thin like Something from what they released uh, 12 years ago, or 13 years ago, I guess. Uh, but not at all. The figure looks very imposing. It, it looks beefy. I mean, considering the fact that the Mark III armor wasn't one of his bulkiest armors, this figure is, a, is pretty imposing. And is right there right up there with the mark seven in my opinion in terms of girth in terms of uh, of of, uh, of presence what it is lacking if at all are some blast effects like for the thrusters like or for the repulsor but no need for that i honestly think that this figure can can do without those blast effects now the figure does come with a few other accessories uh if, if memory serves me right, the, these are obviously rockets, missile launchers. And this is, I think, that mini shield. That mini shield that he had. I, I can't honestly remember very clearly now. But somebody tell me in the comments, I think this is that shield. That sort of mini shield that he used to block something. I don't know, projectile or, or flamethrower. And you can, you can actually remove for the right arm. The, this panel is removable. Swap out. Let me just swap out the fists. So it looks better. Okay, I get that shield. Like he's like shielding himself. I think that's what it is. Like, sorry if I remembered incorrectly. This is obviously that missile that he launches. Was that in the tank when he launched and destroyed that tank? And then he just walks away. So yeah, very cool. That's a nice touch. It's made of that soft PVC. Plastic, so is this one very soft? 
it's okay. But uh, again, those things, a nice little touch just to make this figure perfect. And for some size comparisons, here is the Mark III with a few other Iron Man figures in my collection. Uh, you've got the Mark 85, you've got the Mark VII, which was, I thought this was already the best figure we could get for the MCU Iron Man. You've got two other comic series Iron Man figures, the 80 Years Iron Man, as well as my recently reviewed Modular Armor Iron Man. And I was surprised. The figure is two millimeters taller than these two MCU figures. And he is about the same height as these two comic figures. That is amazing. And I thought Hasbro was shrinking their figures, but no, they've actually increased their figures. And at the price point of $34, I kind of feel it's justified. I know it's not really, I mean, they should... If you ask me, Marvel Legends figures are already expensive here in Manila at $26, $28. They should have just increased it to about $30 max, but $34, you know, you'd expect some premium-ish type of add-on. And I think this figure does deliver on that. So at $34, it kind of it sucks, but I think it's well worth it uh, just to get this figure. Now, can you fit the exposed face of Tony Stark onto the Mark VII? Well, the answer is yes, but the proportions are kind of off. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's got to do with the, the way the neck's been sculpted on the Mark VII or the peg. Uh, it, it looks like the neck is just way too long, way too elongated uh, than if it were here. So it will fit but it just kind of looks funny. And so some final thoughts on this new Mark III figure from the Marvel Legends series, Infinity Saga. Need I say more? The figure is absolutely perfect. It is gorgeous. I think I'm going to give this one an 11 out of 10. Just an absolute gem in this entire series of Infinity Saga figures. If you're a big Iron Man fan, this figure is an absolute, really absolutely necessary must-have. You've got to pick this one up. This is by far the best MCU Marvel Legends figure for Iron Man that we've ever gotten from Hasbro. Uh, I haven't gotten the Tony and Thanos set yet, that it will see if that one can top this figure but as it is uh these are my three favorite figures for the mcu for iron man and the mark three is looking to be the best one in the lot let me know in the comment section what you think of this new mark three marvel legends figure do you think i'm being too biased uh is it a must-have for all of you iron man collectors out there Hit me up in the comments and as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.